Joby Butler has a podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, we return. Don't call it a comeback, but we're it, call it a comeback. We're back. Huh. The uh, art of the episode twenty-two. Return. Is it twenty-two? Yep, twenty-two. Of Joby Butler has a podcast. Mm. Returning for episode twenty-two, my good friend Aaron DeBerry. It's Brittany, bitch. What? Were you episode one? Episode two. Episode two. Who was one? Corey. Corey. Who was one, yeah. You Who was three? J- Jason Lodge, I think, right? Yep, Jason. Jason. Was the guy with the guitar? No. he was. I think it was four. I don't remember. You know, we're 22 episodes in. No, you really had 22 people on this motherfucker. I, know, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Hopefully we'll have another 22. It's going to be a lot of the usual villains. You know what I mean? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. The rogue gallery. Fucking Bucky will. coming back again. Yeah. How many, how many goddamn yeah. Marvel movies? You know, and he Bucky? died in the fucking Infinity Wars mm-hmm. or something. He got erased. I was like, yes. Isn't he supposed to come back as like White Wolf? Or I don't something know. Bullshit? But he gets erased. I'm like, finally, this guy's fucking gone. Yeah. And then fucking Bruce Banner calls fucking Tony Stark. And they get him back. What's up with that shit? Dude, let me tell you this right now. I would consider you my best friend, right? Um, I wouldn't go through three movies <laughs> of trying... To rescue you. Yeah. I'd be like, you know what? He's a lost cause. Yeah, he's done. You know? That was a little bit more than friendship in my eyes. But like the third movie of like the Captain America Bucky storyline, I was like, oh my God, just fuck already. I mean, the first one was, yeah, right. I mean, seriously. Yeah, just do it. Get it, get it over with. Yeah. Jesus Christ. It's like you don't have any other villain or anything. And also, at least to me, one of the most, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, Eccentric, exotic. You know, just like vivid. boring characters. Oh, yeah. Are like Avengers. It's like, yeah, I don't yeah. give a shit about... Yeah, he's so... And you know what really pissed me off? He's so Manila. Yeah. <laughs> was it... Uh, it's Civil War, right? Was like the last one. The last they, Captain like, America up, one. Right? That was the last... Yeah. It's Iron Man versus Captain America. You know what yeah, pissed yeah. me off about that movie? What? It's like, you know, they, st- they start the movie and it's like, all right, they've both chosen their sides, right? Yeah. They're going at each other, right? Right. And they get to the movie and... Neither side wins. Like, nothing happens. Well, I mean... They fight, no one wins, and then it's just, like, end credits. Yeah, I mean, well, he was going to win. No one's going to win. I, I'm it's, a not, fucking, it's a fucking stalemate. Not a big no one's Marvel win. fan, I'll be honest with you. I no. like the Thor movies. I think they're pretty the good. The third one was really good. I like the Gardens of the Galaxy movies. The first one and the second one. Um, Deadpool. A Deadpool, of course. Oh, which is great. Yeah. The X-Men movies were okay. The what? The X-Men movies. I've never been an X-Men They just movie. did too many Wolverines. Yeah. Yeah, like, too many Wolverines. Like, do too another the origin. Deadpool and the... Uh, the, yeah, the Wolverine or Weapon X or whatever, yeah. It's terrible. Yeah, yeah. How do you give the Merc with a mouth no mouth? Right, yeah. That's stupid. Um, speaking of, of Marvel, the other reason why I was never like a really big Marvel fan is mm. because I just rewatched the entire Dark Knight trilogy again. Mm-hmm. And it's been the first time for a while, but I've seen them like a million times, right? Right. Just, yeah, just great. classic. Yeah. You know, even the third one, like I don't really care for the storyline all that much. Yeah, yeah. Because you and I always talk about Batman Begins is, mm. is the best one. The, is the yeah, best yeah. One. Well, that's our favorite one. It was our favorite one, but I think the it's the one best one. The best one is Dark Knight, but Batman Begins is the And the other thing is, too, is that movie doesn't get any of the credit it's due. Because right. everyone looks at Dark Without Knight. that movie, the second movie... They basically gave Christopher Nolan this, hey, you get however much money you need, right. it's yours. Just do it. So then you you get the Dark Knight. Yeah. Right? And that movie, I think, is, is fantastic, right? Mm. And a lot of it's because of Heath Ledger, of course. Yeah. Right? I mean, basically the whole thing. But even the third movie, right? Don't care for the storyline that much. And like Catwoman is kind of boring to me. Yeah. And Hathaway's Catwoman in that, in that movie. Yeah. But... I remember seeing it for the first time and being kind of like, man, it's just okay. But the more I watch it, I'm like, dude, Tom Hardy is Bane. Like, Bane is badass. Oh, yeah. He's a, Bane, he's a badass character. All those movies, it's like, that's how good the Dark Knight movies are. It's like, it was like a, a rule of a lifetime to get the villain. You know what I mean? Right. I want to play the villain. Fuck Batman. Yeah, yeah. Fuck you know, the like Dark Knight, I'm like, I want the Joker to win. Fuck this guy. Yeah, well, he does basically yeah. win. I think that it would have been great if they would have ended that movie when... Uh, Rachel blows up in that building. Right? Yeah, yeah. And too, then he's in the, the other the, ending. I don't like the other ending. Yeah, yeah. He's in the uh, he's in the police car driving with his head right, right. The window. They would have yeah. ended it there, kind of like an Empire Strikes Back. Right. It would have been great, but, but they couldn't get him he back. Died, it's smart. 
that they did. Yeah, you got to kill him, you know, basically. But God. watching those movies, like the tone and the themes throughout those movies are like, like you know, they're actually prevalent, like in society. Right, right, right yeah. And I get like the Avengers movies aren't supposed to be there. Yeah, right. but they do try to like teeter on that line sometimes. Like in the second one, was like, how far are we gonna go with AI technology? I don't fuck off. I don't care. <laughs> You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. It's like it's real campy. And yeah, it is. Which that's kind of you know. I don't need forty fucking characters flying around. No, no. I mean, you know, it was still cool. It was all right. It was cool. It's all right. There's an animated movie like it's like two part called The Dark Knight Rises. I think I've seen that. And it's fucking dark. It, did, I think that came out. I was watching that, it right? with my nephew, and he watched it for like ten minutes, and he goes, "I'm not allowed to watch this." Yeah. <laughs> and he fucking is that left. where the. Uh, uh, Commissioner like, Gordon like looks like Gary Oldman's Commissioner Gordon. No, no, no. No, no different? He's like, yeah, it's different. He's like, Batman is, he's, he's old. He's really old. Who's the bad guy? Um, Clayface. There's like, I don't know, a couple of. A couple of them? Yeah, there's like a couple of bad Dude, guys. the animated Batman stuff is. Dude, it's dark. And it's like a good. two-part movie. And it's like. Mark Hamill it's voicing fucking, the Joker. It's weird. Remember the old like animated Batman series? What? The old animated Batman Oh, yeah. Batman. The big I square Batman. It. Yeah, mm. Mark Hamill, Luke Luke Skywalker did the voice of the Joker, uh, yeah. and he was great. Yeah. That fucking guy, fuck that guy. Remember, it would, it would always fucking be on Star TV. Wars. I can't fucking deal with it anymore. Oh, I just God. can't fucking do I it know. anymore. Have you watched? They fucked the, it up. Did you watch the last one? I put it on, and uh, I got distracted by Candy Crush. Yeah, well, that's how good. And then every good. once in a while, I looked up and was like, "This is fucking." Just bad. Terrible. Even like the solo, the solo movie was all right. The Han Solo movie, whatever. Yeah. That was okay. Yeah. You know, but it's just, they could just be so great. They could be so good. Well, you, you Instead, are, they just fucking the suck. The content's already there. Yeah, it's already there. It's already there. They like, fuck it up it. with the fucking story. I can't deal with it anymore. I just can't. Well, this just is can't do it. it. It got off to a bad start. I know what they're trying to do with The Force Awakens. When they, like, the first one that they, you know. I thought she was going to be a fucking Jedi. But the bullshit thing is, like. I don't want you to just tell me the same story with different characters. Right. Give me something new. Yeah. And different. Where's the I don't fucking... even give a shit. Like, I don't care about, like, a female lead. Like, that no. doesn't bother me at no, all. No one cares about that shit. Just, I don't care if they're fucking yeah. color or race right. or fucking gender. No one cares. But they literally brought in all these characters who literally essentially are the same characters right. with the same story. And they like, like, force, they, like, force this thing on you. Like, oh, you know, women empowerment, a female empowerment. They try to, like, force it on you. And we're like, we like badass women. We yeah. like... Have you ever Women. seen Kill Bill? It was, yeah. It's ever pretty badass. Kill Bill? Have you ever seen Wonder Woman? Have you badass. ever seen Alien? Right, right. <laughs> I mean, Holy dude, shit. the best sci-fi yeah. movies of all time. I mean, it's just kind of like, I don't know. Yeah, it's just, you can't, it's like, especially the, the biggest way. one was the Ghostbusters. Oh, yeah. It's like, hey. Yeah, Jesus. I don't have a problem. I don't have, the problem with the Ghostbusters movie was they casted all the, all the women that they casted in the role of the Ghostbusters. They casted all comedians that were being comedic in the movie, in their roles. Like, the original Ghostbusters is like, there's a smart one, you know, there's there's the tough right, one. Right, right, And then there's, then the, there's the funny one, one. And they, like, take their job seriously. Right. You know what I mean? Right. And the, the new, the reboot was just like, I don't know yeah, what the like, fuck what are you was doing? They could have just made the first movie. They don't want to accept the fact that the movie was just dog shit. It was terrible. Uh, I didn't even finish bad. the movie. I was no. like, okay, this is terrible. It was fucking bad. Yeah, the new, the new, the last Star Wars, I don't even remember the fuck it was called. Rise yeah. of Skywalker? No, there's another one. Force uh, Awakens was the first one. Yeah. The new one. <laughs> I don't remember. I don't remember. The Last Jedi was the second one. And the last one was Rise of Skywalker. Oh, well, I haven't seen that one. Yeah, it was, it was terrible. I don't waste my time with it. It's just I was fucking, watching it. It's awful. <laughs> I was watching it back here, and <laughs> my laughter was echoing out through the hallway because I was just like, I can't believe this is re- like I know, the, the dialogue, the lines, oh, wow, and like, life. the lines are stupid, they're fucking so cheesy, Dude, they're terrible, they're, the writing's awful, the fucking acting is like, not even that good, yeah. like it's just like, it's just, it was just terrible, and I know that they were trying to like, reboot it for like, kids, I mean kids, know? it's already kind of, family yeah. oriented, you know what I'm saying? Like I the kids already like it. The original as a kid and being just like, Well, like, yeah, cool, you know. It isn't about it isn't about making the content kiddish. It's about transporting a kid into a faraway land in their imagination. You're like, "Whoa, what is this? What right. is that thing?" Right, right. You know, it's not like like I remember like uh, watching it as a kid. 
I wasn't even like grasping the concept of like empire versus republic. No, I didn't no. know what the fuck. No, was. he didn't. I didn't care. Right, he didn't understand like the yeah, revolution like, or oh, all I like that. The hairy like, oh, cool. Yeah, I like that thing. You know, or you know, we like the lightsabers, or right. we like Yoda, or whatever. Wait a it second, I wasn't sitting there going, "Wait a second, she she just kissed her brother." <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah wasn't yeah, thinking yeah, about that. Or I wasn't thinking about you know Jar Jar Binks is the Norm is the fucking Star Wars villain. Yeah. It's just like, just, I don't know. It's just it's, terrible. Uh, and it's so funny because remember when they made the prequels yeah. in the early 2000s and a lot of people shit on them because yeah, yeah. of the overuse of CGI and that shit. Right, right. Those, <laughs> looking at the new, like the latest trilogy, I think are leaps and bounds better than the fucking new ones. Right, right. They're fucking horrendous. And then they have a bunch of characters they put in the new ones that like go nowhere. Like the one Asian uh, girl, what was her name, Rose Tico or something? She's in, like, the second one, and she's with Finn throughout the movie. Asian and then, like, girl? nothing happens with her in the new one. Like, they, they, they just like, all right, well. Yeah. The Asian? Oh, yeah. yeah, her name is Rose or something. I just yeah. don't understand how, like, video games and cartoon adventure shows have better storylines yeah. and a more gripping, like, plots and twists than something like a fucking Star Wars movie. They have this unlimited thing, you know? I'm watching yeah. Dragon Ball Z, like, this story is incredible, you know? Oh, shit, or I'm watching, uh, you know, some One other Punch show. One Punch Man. Oh, yeah, or you're... That? Yeah, yeah, One Punch Man, or you're wa- you're playing a game, and it's like, the storyline's great, you know? Right. You know, you put Red Dead or Fallout or fucking... You see the, of course, PS5 is going to be crazy as shit. Yeah, so they got a crazy. game called Stray. I just, uh, we just watched just saw that. that. Yeah. I was so like, that's so like, where are they going like to go with this? Like a little detective kitten? Yeah, like a cat and like a, yeah, like a robot world or something. like, give how is something. this going to fucking give me work? Give something out there. Yeah, something weird. Yeah, it's funny. It, we're getting to the point where like a lot of, first of all, the video games is like the potential and like the creativity, like they're still developing. You know, it's it keeps getting yeah, like farther and further and, it's and like further. How far can we take this? Yeah. They're still pushing the boundaries on it. Right, right. So they have so much blank canvas to work with. Right. So there's nothing out of the realm of possibility. Right, you can do you anything. You go to a video game. Hey, what if we make a, a video game? You're a cat, and you have a backpack on. And right. It's like a robot. And you're like uh, a detective. You should yeah. solve mysteries and puzzles. Sounds incredible. Uh, Let's sounds make great. It, yeah. You know? Why can't we do that with movies? And I think the reason behind that is why we're getting all the reboots is because all these fucking studios are run by the most uncreative, untalented fucking people right, who are right. just looking at dollar signs. Right. And it's like, oh, let's make a, uh, why don't we make um, a 10th Spider-Man with a different, different uh-huh. Spider-Man. Right, right. Which, you know, those spider they're going to, they're going to always, those money them. makers and shit. And some people are like kind of looking for this. You know, like that kind of thing. Like, right, just right, want right. to watch a movie that's kind of not like super deep or anything, right. you know? And I guess but where's Spider-Man's, like the really fucking. Spider Man's not a good uh, example per se, but like, right. um, like these reboots of movies, like uh, they came out a couple years ago, fucking a Point Break remake. And it was horrendous. Oh, yeah. And I was like, dude, the first one's great, but it's like, we don't need to remake this. Right. And where's like the good stories on like fucking Nightcrawler? A great movie. Great movie. Uh, District 9 was fucking a different thing. Where are the... Ori- I need Fast and Furious back. Just, <laughs> I need just street racing shit. Furious. Just Fast and Furious, just racing in the street. What are they on an, now? I don't even know. Now they're on like Hobbs and Shaw or some bullshit. It's like yeah, not even the same. That? I think I've seen parts of oh, it. Oh my God, it was so bad. Yeah. I mean, it was yeah, so bad. You got like, you know, still action sequence or whatever, but it's just like, I don't know. It's just, eh, it's just stupid. It's like Fast and Furious... If they would just make the first, like, the same shit, just street racing, well, just dumb history. bullshit, you know, just have the whole thing, they would sell over and over, and it'd be great. You know, that culture would go fucking see it all the time. I don't know what which Fast and Furious movie it was, but I remember when it was coming out, the previews showed they were there was a car in a fucking Skyrise building, and it ramped out of the window into a, <laughs> a, a building right beside it, into a, one of their windows. To get, a, I'm like, what the fuck's a car doing in the yeah, building? Like, like what, yeah. what? Fast Five or some bullshit. I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's just, just it's such know. a far cry from the first Fast Five. Yeah, years. and they can just they can do all kinds. Of, you know, they made the drift make, make make more drift movies. I didn't like. I mean, Tokyo Drift's cool. I'd hate the guy that's the main character. I fucking hate that guy. Yeah, I, that I dude, can't remember, I can't his, remember name. his name, but I fucking hate him. But he plays Mike Winch on Friday Night Lights. Oh yeah, yeah, quarterback. Yeah, that guy's fucking Vin Diesel's in Saving Private Ryan. Found that out, dude. <laughs> he, he he is one that I just don't get. He's in that yeah. new one. I like him. Shot. Fast and Furious, he's cool. Everything else, he's, yeah, he's, terrible. he's not cool. The Pacifier. Oh, yeah. Was, he's like a, he in that? Was like like a, a yeah, like a dad or some <laughs> shit or something. I don't know. Jesus Christ. I don't know. 
Um, it's just like, man, I don't know. I just feel like these writers are just fucking not really that great anymore. Right. Well, the, the funny thing is, too, during this whole pandemic thing, um, you know, I have, I have Amazon Fire, and they've been putting um, on Amazon Prime, uh, they've been putting, like, these studios were, like, putting their movies on there since people couldn't go to movie theaters. Mm-hmm. And you could rent them for, like, 19, 20 bucks. Right. Which, if you have a family of four, it's like five. that's cheaper than actually, than actually going to movie theater. Mm. And then, you know, after, like, a week or a couple of weeks, then you would uh, be able to buy it for, like, you'd still be able to rent it for $20, but you could buy it for 25 <laughs> Yeah. So you'd be like, well, well, I'm just going to spend six extra dollars to buy the fucking thing. Right, right. But it, it was incredible the amount of just garbage shit. Yeah. <laughs> I'm it's like, on there. well, we're not really missing much at the movie theater because no, all these yeah. movies are it's fucking just, yeah, horrendous. It's all fucking just trash. You know, it's like the, the same thing with Netflix has so much junk that's oh, on it's there. Just tons of it's junk. just tons of junk. The shows, most of their series, if it's got that little N in the corner, I'm like, that's fucking yeah. trash. Even a stand up comic that you really like, yeah. you know, you look like, Jim Gaffigan's great, and then you see his Netflix stand-up, and it's fucking dick balls. You know, it sucks. The only thing they got is their documentaries. A lot of their yeah. documentaries are good. Well, the true crime stuff. Right, right. A lot of great Everyone stuff always loves that shit. I watched one uh, the other day called uh, "Don't Fuck with Cats." I couldn't get through it. Couldn't get through it. I just can't watch like animal torture. Well, they don't really show it. Yeah, but just even like just it was. It seems sinister with the video. Oh, I mean, that's why people. But the thing that's cool about that one is, like, the dude, the, this guy, he had an internet name. His name was uh, Crams a lot in his ass. <laughs> is that really? Is that, <laughs> that right? was his name. And his name was... Creative uh, guy. What Creative was the guy. fucking dude's name? Oh, it's some fucking weird name. And it's, like, this guy that wanted to be, like, famous or something. And he's got, like, all these pictures of himself, all these places. And basically the internet people, like, people on the internet, it's a- basically solved this crime because he killed he murdered right, someone right. he murdered someone right and then he was going around he was everyone it was just like this shit's fucking wild and just people typing in forums and on facebook figured out where the fuck he was web sleuths they fit yeah they figured it out they figured out where he was and then they went you know they went and caught him the internet's incredible isn't it oh it's the most beautiful creation it's, of all time well sometimes you know, especially now it's so unforgiving just, yeah it's very unforgiving it always and wins we're still like we are literally like our generation it's the first generation to like come up with fucking internet, like the dial up. Right. Yeah. 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 I remember when, so, like, as a civilization, Ryan got an email. He's like, "Check this out." He's like, "We're like, <laughs> You've what?" You've got mail. Yeah. He's like, "Look, you can fucking write messages." We're like, what? You know? He was like the only one with a computer and internet. We didn't. We didn't have it. You but know? The crazy like thing 14. is, as a civilization, we are like still like learning to fucking grow with. Oh yeah. Internet. Yeah, yeah. You know, with like the cyberbullying and all that kind of stuff. Right, yeah. Conspiracy theories. On Learning that. about the Just cloud. Just connect with people. Right. Yeah. The misinformation, like what's real, what's not. Right. You know, it's like now you're like looking at what used to be a credible source, like, oh, ABC News. And then you're right. like, that sounds kind of weird. And then you see some other shit and you're like, some other news place, like, what is that? And you're reading it like, oh, this place actually has real shit. And you're like, right. clicking like, oh, that, that looks actually well, pretty and, fucking good. And that's the incredible thing, too, about like... That's what we're like wading through the waters right, right. now. You got to figure out these what the fuck these is what. Fucking uh, news fucking places, they report wrong shit now all the time. Because like it used to be, you would they know you would it. Check they your wrongfully sources. know it. You would run through your sources and have it confirmed through several different entities. Right, right. Before you would post it, but now it's it's so yeah. instantaneous. They're like, online. Oh, you can just make it up. They put a headline, and yeah. then later in the day, they re- they like retract the story, but they put it at the bottom yeah, of the yeah, web page, and they yeah. post a new headline, and they don't talk about any of the shit they've been wrong about. So you got to be like, ah, uh, it's just yeah, no one's held it's too much shit. Yeah, yeah, you know, and they can just do whatever they want, and then you have to try to figure out what is what, you know. And then yeah. you got all the keyboard warriors fucking well, and yelling at each other. Like you always like you post something, and maybe it's a little bit wrong. They're like, educate yourself, right. you know. And it's just well, like, the other thing too is the like you go hand in hand with that is. I don't. There's a lot of unintelligent people out there that can't huh. decipher right from like what is true and what's not. Like it's right. very evident to me sometimes when I get on Facebook. I'm going, scrolling through a newsfeed. I'll read. Uh, you know, somebody on my friends list will share an article, and yeah. I'll read the headline, and I go, "Well, that's that's fucking bullshit." Yeah. And then I look at what the the um, source is, the website, yeah. and it's like, you know, 
leftwing coverage dot com right, like or, a, a or pagan right, based thing. right wing eagle. And yeah. I'm like, oh well, we, that's where everyone right, gets well, their I news mean, from. There, you don't know. I mean, some of these. I mean, where are you getting your news from? You don't yeah. want to get it from CNN. You don't want to get it from. Yeah. You don't want to get it from any essential news source. They, no. they're fucking lying all the time. You know, where you're you know, so you're almost or it'll be like opinion, not- be opinionated a lot. You'll read the title and it'll say something in the title, you know, controversial. And then you read the article and the article debunks the fucking headline. Right. Where it's actually like, oh, this is actually not true. That's so it's like too. some a lot of these journalists. They're, they're aren't just, intelligent. <laughs> no, they're just not even journalists anymore. Like, you have reporters, you know. You know, and then you get this dumb bullshit. We get, like, Don Lemon, right? And he's on CNN, and he's like, we are a non-biased network, and we sh- say only the truth, and we're real journalists. And right. then, like, this guy is fucking Which is terrible. He's, uh, it's, he's, he's terrible. For one, they know they're biased. For two, he's just a reporter. ain't no journalist. Right. You know, and it's like... Well, the thing is, too... It's like you've got to question the everything. Is too, CNN is liberal media. Yeah, Fox News is is conservative. Right, they're, they're you're both. It's doing, the same thing, yeah, yeah. you know. It's the same thing, and then you know, Fox will say shit. The only thing I guess about some of the shows on some of the channels is when they say this is an opinion based show. You know, if you watch a show, say you watch fucking Hannity, like you know that's an opinion based show. They still bring facts and shit, but you know what you're gonna get. You know, they're not gonna show you what's good on the other side. They're only gonna show you what's good on our side. But at least they go, "Hey, this is what we think." You know, you'll see right. some other shows. They're like, "We're completely biased, honest journalism," and you're like reading it, like, "This is so fucking dumb." Well, we've also got to a point too, where like these shows will bring up these figures. Well, these statistics from this this uh, report or whatever, and you're like, "All right, well, what the fuck's that report?" And you look at a report, and he's like, "Where do they get these figures at? Right. Who do I trust them?" Right, right. Like, who knows I don't what it know is? Who the fuck? You don't know trust. what the fuck this is? How many yeah. people did they? You, so know, you know, what you how many do? people did they interview, or they went to a fucking a certain campus? They go to a conservative campus right. and and interview five hundred students that all have a right wing view, and they're like, "Well, this is what our survey said." It's like you went. Right. To that right, place right. to get that result. And, and, and universities now are very much liberal. No, and, and they I, call them indoctrination. Well, and I <laughs> always thought, you know, universities should have a progressive stance. Because it should go for a place to where you expand your mind. Yeah. You know what I mean? Of course. You should be able to look at, at things from all sides. And then you as a person. Right. And take all that info want. and then make my decision. Right. And most people, that, the way their beliefs are, it's influenced by something, you know, like pretty much everything we do is influenced by someone else or something else, you know. Well, some, it starts from your parents. Right, it starts from your parents, right. then from your friends, and then maybe you go to school, you get new friends, or you have a certain belief, or now you have children, so then like you, they change and they morph a little bit, you know. Yeah. Almost everyone is like influenced, and some people, you know, you got to look out, because some of these influencers are really just there to make money. Oh, like, absolutely. do they want you to pre-order their book? Yeah. You know, like, what are they doing? This is their job. They're that's fucking in a, professionals. That's in a lot of things. Religion. It's everything. everything. You're, even like the food you eat, they're trying to influence you yeah. to buy our food. And, it's, it's, oh, it's and they know more about what you eat than fucking you do. Right. You know, they know everything about what their market's going to want and all this. And they use all the food halos, right. all the bullshit. Crispy chicken sandwich. Like, oh, cri- oh not deep fried, th- not fried chicken. I, I think chicken. the best way you get to truth now is by doing what we're doing right now. Right. You, you talk to another human being. Right. And for me, I like to go into it open-minded. Right. I may not agree with what you say. No. But I'm going to hear you out, and I'll yeah. respect your, your I'm not saying view. your stupid ideas are wrong. I'm saying they're stupid. <laughs> but <laughs> but like, yeah, you have to you go know, in and think. Like, you have to, you know, the smartest thing you could ever do is admit that you don't know everything. Right. And even if I have a certain strong belief and I'm listening to someone talk, and I'm like, this motherfucker's making good points. Right. You know, it's like, oh, I might want to consider that. This motherfucker's spitting. This motherfucker's spitting, you know? <laughs> oh, shit, you know, there. Oh, that makes sense. You know, if right. whatever your whatever reasoning of that you're talking about, if it makes sense and it sounds like you know what you're talking about, then it's like, oh, okay, I might fucking look into that. Right. But if you're just spewing bullshit, and people are like, oh, you I know, think we, just I think about we it. as society, I think it's you know, with all the social media, the internet, like there's no personal accountability a lot right. anymore. And I think we, I think people are afraid to just say, I don't know. Right. I don't know about right. that. Because you, I everyone don't has to, it, social media hmm. is just a constant highlight reel. Oh, yeah. Of, it's not it's your It's a fucking life. big ass dick swinging contest. That's why I love the people I follow that air out their dirty laundry all the time. Right, like, right. Yeah, how bad is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He cheated on you? <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, just really stir him yeah, up good. I wanna, yeah, yeah, I want to hear it. It's about great. It. You get this, yeah. You, you know what I mean? Because now people. I know that's some real shit that you're talking about it. You know? <laughs> I don't 
you, we probably shouldn't know about it, but I, I mean, right, right, we're yeah. friends. We're, con- we're yeah. on the contact list. Yeah, it's, it's fucking crazy. It just where sucks. We're at, Social media know? sucks now. It makes you it's wonder where sucks. it's going to be in like 20 years from now. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Do you think Facebook will still be prevalent in 20 years? Mm, or do you something think like they will Facebook. have a MySpace type of... Something like, I mean, there could be different branches of it. Well, it could also advance with technology. Like, you know, however technology advances, you know, Facebook could right, you right. Know, jump up that way. Right, of course. So. You never know. Um, I'm not really sure. I mean, 10 years ago, it's basically the same right. as it is now. Only, you know, I, miss, I used to get pissed because I saw pictures of everyone's baby when you turn like 30 right. you're like i'm fucking tired of these fucking baby pictures yeah, these guys you know children. and now i'm Fuck them kids. yeah and now i'm like i'm missing them baby pictures i'm just tired of fucking Show reading baby. all this fucking shit negativity like everyone's man, got their fucking rights and it's just like god damn it you know? as a man uh, cannot get on facebook and, and <laughs> post show me your baby pictures yeah because that comes off as a little strange yeah yeah and then, yeah. of course, you got to be honest. Like, look yeah. at the head on that thing. That's what Bill Bird says. <laughs> yeah, look at, like, uh, listen. Oh, look at the head on that one. Your kid's ugly. Yeah. You ever, seen, you ever seen some ugly babies? They're weird. Oh, yeah. They, yeah, they're weird. Oh, he's, he's cute. Uh, beautiful yeah, baby. You're looking at it like that. He nah. looks just like him. Yeah, it's not a beautiful baby at all. <laughs> thing looks fucking weird as shit. Oh, dude, listen. We're already half hour. We're half hour in. Let's keep this ball rolling. But let's take a break first. Let's do it. And we'll be back. We'll be right back. After this. Back. No. We're back back. It's not I'm back. It's returned. It's returned. Or, I don't know. The king returns. Yeah, return of the king. Return of the king. Yeah, yeah. return of the king. Naturally. Um, so, the last time you ruled, which was, God, I don't even remember, like, like when we did uh, that. Yeah. It's been a year. Couple. Right? All right, two. Well, no, I'm saying the first step, the uh, the, ep- the first episode that you ruled. Yeah. That was probably a year ago, right? Probably. Yeah. You have since went on the seas. I went out on the seas. Wheels up on a runway. And that ticket was a run. run, run. But it's got Mm. my titties tingling. Yeah. Yeah, I fucking went in, did some dumbass shit. Mm. Went on a fucking. Well, explain to people what. Went to work. Went to work on a cruise ship. Yeah. uh, As a technical staff. You hit the high seas. Yeah. So. And, you know, they're like, yeah, you're going to be, like, doing entertainment stuff for lighting and sound and right. booking musicians, production shit, choreography, production cues, you know, shit like that. How, like, many, right. how many different countries did you go to? Uh, like 15, 13, you went to 15, yeah, you something like that. In the span of how many months? Four. About four. It's supposed to be six. Jet setting. High five. <laughs> Wheeling, dealing, <laughs> kiss stealing, son of a gun. Yeah, so I'm like, you know. All right, I guess. And the time was right. Like, my lease was ending. You know, all this shit was going on. No Just car like, hey. no car payment. You know, I'm like, single, no kids. Like, whatever. Well, great experience. So, I'm like, fuck it. Might as well go, you know. Doesn't, yeah. like, pay that great. Even, like, two grand a month. But you got to travel a lot. Got to travel. People. Yeah, and they, uh, you know, I'm, like, getting ready to go. Getting all my shit together. I'm like, well, what am I going to take with me? Right. What you know, once gonna... you fucking get there. Your bag you're, had you're, a one Hawaiian there. shirt and... I didn't have any Hawaiian shirts. But yeah, you pack, you know, some other shit. You stuff it full of shit. And they don't really tell you like what, what to do. Right. They give you a plane ticket. And I'm like, all right. Like they told me, first they called me on one day and they were like, okay, are you ready for assignment? And I was like, well, what's that mean? You know? And they're like, well, if you say you're ready, like then you're we can, Ethan Hunt. Yeah, we'll give you more <laughs> details. And I was like, all right, I'm ready. And then like two hours later, they're like, all right, can you start on like, November 4th? And it was like the 30th of October. Right. And I was like, okay, I guess. And they're like, all right, we'll get we'll get all your travel shit together. And I'm like, wait, wait, wait. Does this mean I'm going to be on a ship? They're like, yeah. You know, I'm like, well then, no, I'm not ready. Right. Four days, you know. I haven't yeah. even I didn't even fucking Quite tell. I didn't even tell work yet. You know, I'm like, should I fucking? What should I do? Should, they're like, all right, we'll change it. Like, should I put in a notice at work? They're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm like, all right. So I did that. 
Mm. Yeah, I'm here to turn. I'm here to put in my four days. Yeah, then they're like, all right, like the day before, I'm gonna fly. The day before, I'm gonna leave mm-hmm. to give me a flight ticket. So I'm like, well, I know I'm flying tomorrow. But I don't know where I'm going or what time. Right. And I get it, and it's fucking Barcelona, right. Spain. I'm like, what? Like I thought I was gonna go to like Miami. Right. And then you know, well, we went out for drinks the night before you left, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the night before, and I remember talking about it. They were like, "Yeah, I'm fucking, dr- they're flying me to Barcelona, and then and then this ship comes to Florida, transatlantic, and like three weeks later, I'm like, why wouldn't they just right. wait? I don't know, you know, I don't fucking know. So it's then, the law, it's the law of the yeah, seas. you know. I get there, and I'm like, of course, I get wasted in the in Columbus Airport. I get on the plane, Going whatever, after. you know, and then I land in like New Jersey, and I got like six hour layover, so I get even more wasted, you know. Get on the plane. They're like, all right, it's going to be like 10 and a half hours or something. Like, oh, shit, you know? Big ass, like, double decker fucking plane. All right, you know? So I'm like trash. I'm like, I'll just sleep, you know? So I fucking, after like an hour or something, sitting there, I fall asleep. And then I wake up and I'm like, okay, hopefully we're close. And I look at the little map thing and the plane is right in the middle of the Atlantic. It's like, oh, you got like six more hours. I'm like, dude, this fucking sucks, you know? Then I get off in fucking Spain. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I'm by myself. My Spanish is elementary, yeah. you know, and I'm trying to figure out how the fuck I'm supposed to go where I'm supposed to go. I'm supposed to go to this hotel. Mm. They give you this, like, piece of paper. Like, this is what you do. Go and get the shuttle to this hotel, right? And I'm like, I think this is where the shuttles are, you know? Mm-hmm. It shows up. It looks like one. I get in. It takes me to the hotel. Cool. I go inside, and there's just a bunch of fucking people in there. They're putting a bunch of people on at once, you know? I'm like, all right, this is your room key. You know, you'll have a roommate. He's not here right now, but he'll be here later. All right. And then I go up to the room, and... I don't know how to do anything. Like, it's different, right? right, right like, right. I couldn't figure out how to turn the lights on. Right. I couldn't figure out how to turn the water on. I couldn't, I can't, my plugs are different. Right. The outlets are different. I can't yeah. charge my phone. I can't do anything. I'm like, what the fuck, you know? I'll just take a nap. So I nap for a little bit and get up, and I realize you got to put the key card in this thing on the wall, and then it allows you oh. to turn everything on. So I'm like, oh, shit, sweet. So I fucking hit it. Power comes on. I go to take a shower, and it's different. You know, it's all different. I turn it on, and this motherfucker just... <laughs> So it comes out crazy. I get in. I'm trying to get it. Like, what's hot? What's not? And it's got, like, temperature right. and Celsius. I'm like, well, I don't fucking know. I don't know the temperature. Like, I know when I <laughs> normally take a shower, that bitch is at yeah. fucking 10 o'clock on my thing. You know, that's all I know. So I'm like, well, shit. Like, let's try 40. In Ohio, right? they just give you a red meter. Right. The closer to the top of the red, it gets hot. Right. I turn on, like, 40 degrees. It's fucking burning up. I'm like, oh, shit. So I turn it down to 30. Freezing cold. I'm like, Jesus fuck. You know, finally I find it. All right, shit. I'm like, I'm fucking stressed out already. Yeah. You know? So Celsius already has you yeah. frazzled. And then we get there. It's the one bed. It's like a queen bed. Mm-hmm. That's it. So I'm like, I'm not going to sleep with some guy. Yeah. You know? It's from some dude from Italy, a guitar yeah. player. Roberto. Like, We're just going to sleep in a fucking yeah. queen size bed. Yeah. And I was like napping. He came in and he's like, look at the bed. Like, what the fuck? And then we moved the covers. I was on top and it was like and two. Separate, like, yeah, yeah, we separate. Yeah. Like, oh, Jesus. He's like, it's going to be weird. And I was like, well. That would have been fucking weird. Then, you know, they feed you whatever they do. I'll haunt you. How are you? I'm Aaron. We'll be sleeping together. They feed you all this shit, you know, whatever. Then, like, the next morning, they get you up, get you all together. You get breakfast, and you go go on your shuttle to go to your ship, you know. You go. It's like 8 in the morning. You go to get on, you know. You get on the motherfucker. They're like, all right, who's new? Whatever. They split you up. You got to go through all this bullshit. We're, like, sitting there. There's, like, all the first timers, all your first timers. You got to go do all this paperwork. And I'm looking at this. I'm like, I don't fucking know. People had like these certificates and all these things. I'm like, I don't have shit. You know, I don't have anything. Right. These other people had, and they're like, where's your, where's your safety thing? Where's your this? Where's your waiver? Where's your Siemens book? I'm like, I don't have any of that shit. They gave me, I got a passport. They gave me a fucking ticket, you know? And they can't figure it out. And then one guy's like, oh, he's American. Yeah, fuck it. Just, just get him out of here. <laughs> or just get him out. Yeah. It's like, what in the fuck? You know? He's an American. Yeah, he doesn't need that. You know, he don't need that shit. I'm like, oh, sweet, you know? Then they get me like, all right. Here's your department. Here's this guy. You know, they give me to like one of the other audio guys. Mm. Cool cat named Swazi. Swazi. I Swazi. like that name. Yeah, it's cool cat. And he fucking's like. With a name like Swazi, you don't even need a last name. Right. No, right. I think that is his last name. Oh. But I don't know. Well, that's interesting. Everyone just. Swazi. Everyone just called him Swazi. Anyway, he's like going to give me a tour of the ship, you know, and shit. Like and he's like, he's like, yeah, I, I always picture like what you're telling me now. It pictures like. It makes me think of a movie. Like, this is how the movie starts out. Right. right. It's the new guy. Fish yeah. out of water. Bring him up to speed, yeah. you know. It's my so, name's Swazi. What's up, man? I'm going to yeah. do the tour. He's done, like, a n- bunch of other contracts. But he's like, yeah, man, uh, I don't 
He's like, I don't know why they picked me because I've never been on this shit before and I just got here like three weeks ago. So he don't know where anything is. I like Swallows. We're fucking walking around and shit. He's like, all right, here's your cabin. You know, this is like this. He's like, it's pretty much all I know, whatever. I'm is like, this right. the last time you, like, this is the first, like, the first day. only time you, you saw Swazi the whole time? No, no, no. So are you, are you still friends with Swazi? Yeah, yeah, on yeah. On Facebook? Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, we hung out. We're in the same so he department. Might, he might we hung out, you, you know. Oh, he yeah, yeah. Yeah, you might see it. Yeah. yeah. Like your style, bro. Yeah, it's cool, cat. And, uh, so he's like, you know, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Like, after he's done, he's like, I got to go. I got to go to work. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, well, out. the fuck do I go, you know? He's like, oh, just go to your room. So I go to my room. I'm just sitting there. Like, what the fuck? Finally, you figure out some other shit. You know, supervisor calls. Hey, come to the theater. Come to the booth. I'm in the control booth. It's like, all right, this is your radio. You get this little radio. I'm like, all right, cool. Mm-hmm. They tell you, like, what's going on. Like, this other guy, is, you're going to follow him around for a couple weeks. He'll show you what to do. And then, you know, you'll, you already know how to do a lot of shit. Right. It's just kind of like, this is how we do it here, you know, stuff like that. So everyone's on the same page. Mm-hmm. So if you show up to an event that maybe I'm usually running, but now I'm not doing that, anyone else can walk up, right. load it up, and Take set it, it up and, and, and run it, you know. So, you know, but they don't tell you anything. They don't tell you shit. Like, right. first they told me, you have to have two sets of safety shoes, like safety boots, and then like shoes, they have to be steel toe, waterproof, slip resistant, right? They just threw it in the deep end. They, like, they tell you that, you know. So before you go. So I buy... That's been like 250 bucks. Then I get there and I'm wearing them. And the supervisor's like, what are those shoes? I'm like, these are my safety shoes. He goes, don't wear those. <coughs> wear sneakers. I'm like, what? He's like, yeah, don't wear that. You don't need to wear that shit. Don't wear that shit. Did like, you take sneakers with you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Imagine, right? So I'm like, okay. He's like, just wear black sneakers, black jeans. I'm like, it said not to wear jeans. He's like, wear black jeans and a black t-shirt. I make the goddamn yeah. rules. And a black shit. t-shirt or a polo. I'm like, well, I, I brought some of that shit. He's like, he all right. He looked at you and he's like, so, I'm the captain now. Uh, yeah, yeah. And yeah. he's like, basically like, look, you're supposed to go get your uniforms, but but I need you to do something else right now. We'll get those later. All right, so I'm going around doing shit, learning stuff, whatever. Like a day goes by, he calls, hey, I need you to go to, uh, it's like I need you to go to personnel office. All right, that's cool. Where's that? It's, like, it's on I-95. This is like the biggest hallway in the crew area. They call it, they call it I-95, <laughs> right, so they call it. So I'm like, oh, he's like, oh, I-95 by HR. I'm like, all right. I can probably figure that out. I'm fucking walking. I don't see it. Can't find it. I'm right. like 15 minutes. Someone sees me. They're like, you knew? I'm like, yeah, fucking knew. Where's the personnel? He's like, oh, it's right there by HR. Can't find it. Finally, someone sees me and they're like, I'll walk you to it because yeah. it's difficult to find. Where's Swazi? Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> turns out personnel office is inside the medical office, what which ass. is around the corner that just has a door with a green plus. They don't tell you this shit. I'm walking around for like 40 minutes trying to find this. Fuck, can't find it. You know, other shit. Like when I didn't get my uniform, I didn't get it for three days. Then I go to get it. And the guy's like, where were you? We We've mean? been holding this. He's like, but you're supposed to come day one. They told me not to so, come. So, sh- communication strong point on the show. Communication is shit. And what's weird is like, I got a fucking radio. Makes you, makes you that realize I fucking why carry. the Titanic sank. You yeah. Know what I mean? Had a radio I carry around. <laughs> contact me anytime. And like, you don't, they they don't, they don't tell the you shit. You know? Where were you? Yeah. So like the first month is fucking rough. Cause you don't know how to get anywhere right. on the ship. If you get a certain job, like say you're like a cook, you get up from your room and you go to work and you go to that place you cook in, the galley, they call it the galley. You go to the kitchen, and you cook, and then you take a break, and you're done, you take a, whatever, you, you go there every day. Well, as this, like, technician, I'm the on-call technician, like, I gotta go everywhere. Right. Anytime Where you're needed. there's any kind of technical difficulty with any piece of electronic, someone calls me. Huh, you know, one guy called, it's TV, TV's not working. What TV? There's TV up here, uh, way on the sky bar or something, you know, come up. All right, yeah, fuck, you know, so I go up there. What's up? He's like, oh, the screen, uh, the picture looks like shit. I'm looking at it, I'm like, yeah, the TV's dirty. It's, it's dirty. Yeah. It's dirty, bro. It's outside. It's sea salt. The problem here is yeah. you need some wind. It's, it's dirty. I'm like, why don't you just clean it? He's like, no, you clean it. I, I ain't fucking clean it. This is not a technical issue. Right. You know, so I leave. Of course, he calls my supervisor. Like, what's going on? You know, I'm like, the fucking bitch, you're just dirty. But I got to be everywhere. So you I got to figure you out. Said, you said, this is not a technical issue, but, right. said, but technically, the, it is an issue. <laughs> right, right. So I got to figure out how to get everywhere. And the crew, like, doors, you know, and all the crew areas right. is this, like, massive web of stairs, <laughs> hallways, and doors. And you got to fucking figure out how to get there. It's for like a, maze. Yeah, for a while, you figure out, like, all right, there's a, you know, there's a conference room on the deck 12 or something. They right. call it the London Room. They do shit there it's all the time. London room. It's called the London Room. Cool. And so, so classy. They, yeah, they have conferences you, and that's shit how you there. name a classy room. You just give right. it, like, a European. Right. The right. London Room. Right, right. And they have London, Paris. Yeah. The Par- and a Rome Room. Anyway, like, I would have to get there to, like, do something. Well, at first, I only know one way to get there. And it's basically, like, walking all the way on this side of the ship. Right, the long Then going side. up. And then walking all the way there, you know, so. Probably uh, better off just jumping fucking, off the side and swimming. 
<laughs> right, yeah. So then you got to figure out, well, this door, you go through this door, or these stairs, Fine, and then like you'll open a door, oh shit, this ain't fucking it. You know, you go back, you go somewhere else. It took forever for me to figure out where to go, and it was really stressful. You know, you don't right. know anybody, you're fucking brand new, never done this. I brought shit I don't need. You know, it's just like, ah, oh, why the fuck did I do this? Right. You know, this sucks. This is like, what, a couple weeks in? Yeah, it's like, yeah, like a couple weeks in. And then, you know, like after a month, I'm like, all right. You know what? I'm getting home. I'm getting hang this isn't bad, you know? Like two months in, I'm like, guys, ah, we didn't get paid. Like, we're not really working that much, right. you know? Like, most of the entertainment well, shit's at night. That would be hilarious. You'd just be sitting there with like a drink and you'd be like, yeah, I don't know, I'm not doing nothing. <laughs> yeah. I'm just you know? waiting. Yeah, and you, like we would go set up someone, you know, they'd do like an installation on a musician or a band. So, say a new band comes on. Well, they're going to play in these four venues. So, we take a day and we go there and do a sound check. And they play some songs and sets, and we do everything. Right. And then we save it on a digital mixer. Right. So next time they come in, the bandstand's there. They come up, we get shit, everyone's ready, all right, cool, bro, fucking, you hit load. They start singing, sounds great, you fuck off. You go, it takes like 15 minutes. So you'd be on break for like five hours. You gotta go work 15 minutes. You'd be on break for like two hours. Yeah. You know, and then you go work a lot of 15 minutes. Yeah, a lot, you know, a lot of shit. It's like, what the fuck, the fuck am I gonna do? You know, a lot of coffee right. and cigs. So after a couple of months, you're like, ah, I know fucking, I know what to do, you know? Right. Then like three months in, I'm like, yo, I got fucked. <laughs> Fuck this. You know, like I could have got more shit. I could have requested different ships. Like once I'm talking to people, I right. could have got more money. I could have got a better room. I could have got way more shit. You know, I got fucking screwed, you know, and then all this fucking COVID shit happened. Right. That's what I was getting ready to bring up. You know, yeah. It's such an interesting time to go be on a cruise ship for the first time. Yeah. yeah. All because this shit happens. Well, I remember I was talking uh, to our other friend, Brian, who hopefully we'll get on the podcast one day. I was talking to him, we were, we were laughing, and uh, we were talking about, like, man, fucking, it's like a Petri dish on the fucking, on a cruise ship. You would think getting sick on a cruise ship no, would be spread. extremely easy, oh. but it spreads. Like, oh, it spreads crazy, yeah. But you were actually finding yourself in a different circumstance. We were at the bottom of South America, like, right, right next to the Arctic Sea. All this shit's going on in, like, right. Asia and transferring over. We're at the farthest away you could be. And then they figured out, all right, what we need to do is we need to get all the passengers oh. off, right? So, of course, the way they're going to do it is they're not going to tell anyone. They're not going to tell the passengers no, until okay, okay. the day they're going to do it. Because then otherwise you got all these pissed off people, right. you know? So they took care of them, whatever, refunds or plane tickets. They didn't, you know, fuck anyone over. It's just people didn't know what was going on. So they're like, look, we're going to do this thing in like four days. And we're going to drop them off in Uruguay. And we're not telling anyone. Don't tell anyone. Because then it's going to just create this massive right. problem. You don't you know? want to be out at sea with a bunch of pissed, pissed off, off fucking people. You know, they don't know. So they fucking, they have like a guest services place where you're supposed to go and like get information about yeah. everything. But really people just go there to bitch, right. you know. Yeah, yeah. And the guest service is just standing there like, shut your fucking mouth. You know, yeah. I don't give a shit. Like I'm trying to go get drunk or something, you know. Well, they close it an hour early. Like yeah. the, night, the night before they're going to make yes. the announcement. They close it at 11 and then like 11.30 – they make this announcement that tomorrow at like 8 a.m. they're getting everyone off and it's this COVID thing and blah, blah, blah and all this crap and people are fucking, they're pissed, yeah. right? Like some people were like back to backs. It was like mid cruise, like the fuck, you know, people are fucking upset, you know? Right. Super pissed. So then of course, everyone runs to guest services to bitch. There's no one there. There's no one there. And there was a dude like playing like classical piano <laughs> And he's like <laughs> this old guy, you know. The old the guy yeah. going down with he's the talking, Yeah, he's playing. He's Gentlemen, like, it's a pleasure. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, or like fucking <laughs> day after tomorrow yeah. or some shit, you yeah. know. So all these people are coming. He's down there playing like, oh shit, you know. Dude, I would and, want to have video of just that guy. Yeah, yeah. Just the chaos around. Yeah. yeah. He's out there fucking. And he's just out there shopping. playing and he's like, what the fuck? He's looking around. I like peek out and I see him down there and he kind of looks at me. I see the shit. I'm like, I'm not fucking going down there now. Yeah. I'll be the only like employee. Yeah. I'll get fucking, I'll get ransacked, you know. I just look at him like. Look at this, you know, and he'd like stop mid song, just fucking left. And I called the soup, like, I'm gonna wait to go break that shit just down went. because, you know, got then like the next morning, they're fucking trying to get these people together. And no, they don't wanna leave. They're like, no, huh. I'm not leaving. I got my luggage, you know, all this shit. You know, they don't wanna leave. The boat security is just like, they're just, you know, they're like mall cops basically, you know. And so they decide that they're gonna get the military police from Uruguay to help them get these people off this ship. Some the best way they could. One. So we knew this was going to happen. So we're up, right? Like, w like creeping around crew doors, watching what's going on. We're standing like the promenade and we're sitting there and you see them. There's like, I don't know, 20 or 30, like fatigues, fucking rifles, right. crazy, you know? People are fucking causing havoc. Security can't do shit. They're bitching. It's loud as fuck. It's, it's, like, it's loud as fuck. We're going to get off now. Yeah, it's loud as shit. And then these motherfuckers rush on the ship and people just 
Oh, they fucking get get our bags. Oh, oh, yep, okay, yep, yes, ma'am, yes, sir, whatever. And they were just like, get off, get off, get off. They got this. They got like two thousand, three thousand people off, in like minutes. They were just like, beep, 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 And then once they're all on shore, we fucking raise the gangway and everything and sail away. And we're sitting there, and there's fucking like two thousand people on a dock. You look like, like, oh, like, you look like, you look like Leonardo DiCaprio's friends right at the beginning of the Titanic where they're waving at him. Yeah, yeah. See ya. So that was like, you know, like the beginning of fucking, uh, yeah, but like then March you, or whatever. Then you float to... We went oh, around. Yeah. We were at like you know, on the uh, Atlantic, Atlantic side of the of South America. Yeah. Atlantic side. So we're gonna, what we're going to do is we're going to sail around and go up towards Miami Boston, at Boston. the slowest but possible, slowest possible speed, right? And it's just crew, which is about a thousand people, and they're going to pay us till the end of the month. Right. But the stuff, funny thing about this there's situation, there's like nothing is, to do. I, at first, I thought, "Oh fuck, he's on this cruise ship with all these people. He's going to be fucked. He's going to be fucked." But then it turns out that you're in the best possible situation. Best way, because then you're self quarantined, and then. The best part about your self-quarantine is they drop you off at the airport and they go, all right, see you, go back to Ohio. And then you come back here and everything's stay-at-home order. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. And you, I remember you were like, hey, I'm home. I was like, oh, come on over. <laughs> right, yeah. So, yeah, we basically just partied. You know, what did like, your mom say to you when, you when you came over? She said, oh, make sure you guys, make sure you guys are keeping, keeping distance. Oh, yeah. You were like, well, does that mean we can't make we, out? We can't kiss. <laughs> <laughs> keep your distance, you know? So we fucking basically partied for like three weeks. We'd do like a little work on our side. Like, you know, like the engine still had to work. The bridge is still working. Cooks right. are still working. Housekeeping's still working. But all like the other entertainment people, all both photographers, whatever, they're not, you would have little things they wanted you to do. You know, like every day we would check something like, well, go test every speaker in this place. And we'd go test it. Like right. the whole team It'd take like an hour. And then at, you know, night or something, we would set up events, like game shows, bands, concerts, because people were fucking bored. Oh, yeah. You know, and first they opened, out. they would open the bar at eight at first, you know, and then they opened it at six, you know, and the pool's open, the arcade's open, the spa's open, they're opening everything, right. you know, and we're just roaming around, this motherfucker, yeah. just partying. It's it was, crazy. And then, so then, in like, the, the fourth month, I was like, first I thought, this sucks. Second month, I'm like, I could probably do this as a career. <laughs> Third month, I'm like, I got fucked. Fourth one's like, I've been chosen yeah. by fucking Jesus himself what a, what a to do record. this. Yeah, yeah, fucking wild. And when you're, like, doing shit, you know, when you're, like, working, if you had a different job than the one I had, it might, it might suck. Some yeah. people get paid a lot more when they do, like, a different job. But this is basically the job you want to do. Like, people would be, like, pissed at me or the other technicians because they feel like they, you, don't, you don't work. Right. You know, and you're not, like, you go up and press some buttons and then, hey, and then you go take a break, you know. But it's like they're not paying you to just press buttons. They need someone that knows what to do. So when everything takes a shit or when it's not working or when we want to have a big party, someone's there that knows what they're doing. That's, that's really what you're paying right. for. But you get other shit, too. Like, you have to go through this fucking safety training, right? And at first, I'm like, fuck this. Safety training. I don't want to do it, you know? And then, like, I'm watching, like, the people that are, like, rigging the lifeboats. I'm like, look at these fucking idiots. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't want them to, uh, uh, all, you know, all, all shit, you know? So you go and you have to do, like, 40 hours of this training. It's, like, lecture and then, like, you know, uh, out in the field, hands-on. Right. So at first, it's kind of like, eh, it's kind of stupid. They're showing you this shit, you know, all this bullshit. Then they have us, all right, they're like, all right, today, we're going to go do the fire safety. I'm like, all right, cool, you know, so they take us as part of the ship. You get with your team, you know, they're like, all right, we're going to have you hook up this hose and put out this imaginary fire, you know, over here. So you got to go get the hose, hook it up, like six of you, like this. And you fucking got to open it up. He's like, engage. And like, you open it up, it's like, shh, and it's just a wall. And he's like, firefighting. And you got to open it more and fucking hit it. You get soaked, you know. So that shit was fun. They had you put on, you have to put on the fire suit. You got to do it under two minutes. Nice. And then you like, you have to put it on, do it. It has to be strapped. Then you put your oxygen tank on and then you have to put on the mask. Well, when you put on the mask, you can't breathe. And you can't really do your own oxygen tank thing, right. so you have to partner with someone. But it's really tough to do. It's got, like, this coupler, so you have to, like, fucking grab them and be like, psh, psh, and hit it, right. you know? Then they do, like, another thing where they put you in masks that you can breathe from, but it's blacked out, so you can't right. see anything. And then they put a dummy in the room, and you have to go and with commands and follow the wall, and it's, you can't see shit. You got to get the dummy and bring it back. It's like, that was, uh, was kind of cool, you right. know? The fucking, the one that sucked, really, was the... Uh, Survival at sea training. Oh, okay. well, that was so I guess when we were doing our training, a lot of people, they do it before they get on the ship. If you're from like India, China, something like that, they go through an agency, they complete their safety and they come on the ship with it. Mm -hmm. But other people, they don't always do that. So they were like running out of time. We were supposed to be like within 30 days, you're supposed to have it done. And it had already been like 40 days. So they're like, we have to rush 
this training. Well, when they go, when we go to do this, we were fucking anchored in like by Chacabuco or some shit. It's like at the very bottom. <laughs> The very bottom of South I America, I've right? I've seen that on a globe. Right, right. All the way at the bottom, and we're fucking anchored, and it's their summer, but we're so, you know, we're so down, it's like 35, maybe 40 degrees. So they get us up at 8 a.m. and have us put on our bathing suits. Oh, so this is like an in-water. Right, so we're going to do it in the pool, right? Yeah, tread. We're going to do it in the pool. Well, you got to do, you got to do a bunch of shit. Like, you stand there in your bathing suits, you put your life jacket on. We're sitting there like this, freezing, you know? And there's like, I don't know, 15 people. And the instructor's got a wetsuit and fucking like all this shit, you know? He's like, all right, what we're going to do is we're going to do these exercises. I'll call them out. We need you guys to jump in, jump in the water. Everyone's like, and your trainer was, what? Your trainer was uh, Kevin Costner. Oh, right. No, okay. it was some dude from the Philippines named Butch. <laughs> <laughs> but he, they, everyone, yeah. everyone loved this guy. He was great. So he's like, all right. I'm like, who's going first? And no one wants to go. I'm like, fuck it, I'll go. Jump in. I'll jump, you know? So one of the, one of the other girls. Trey sing, was like, I like, singer, I like your Yeah, singer comes up like, all right, we'll jump first. He's like, all right, just keep in mind, once you get in the water, you're going to immediately go into shock. Yeah. Because it's freezing. Like, it's freezing cold. So we need everyone to get in as quick as possible. And they do these like body warming yeah. techniques, you know? So me and this girl jump in. We're freezing. We're down at the end. And no one's jumping in. And he's like, uh, who's going to go next? You're fucking... Your, uh, yeah, co-workers, you your, your co-workers are freezing their ass off, you know? So everyone everyone gets in, whatever. Then they have you, like, take off while you're floating. You got to take off your life jacket right. and then put it back on, which is really fucking difficult I to bet. do. Yeah. Then you got to, like, do these body warming exercises. You got to tread water for one minute just without a life jacket. Right. So which turns out if you hold your breath. Which is that, that's how it usually survival at sea is. You only right. have to tread for about a minute. Then, like, the hard part was they, have, they take a life raft, not like a boat, like a blow-up raft, right. and they put it upside down in the pool. And you have to go over there, climb up on it, grab it, Flip it over onto yourself and then come back around and get in it. And if you can't do it, then you fucking go home. Well, not everyone can do it. Like, if you go up there and just fucking attack it, you can get it. But some of these people, they, they can't do it. See it. When you say it, it seems easier than what that actually Yeah, it's, it's not. It wasn't easy, you know? So they, they would, if they saw you couldn't do it, they put you in groups. All right, someone go together. Plus, we were freezing, so the instructors start putting people in two. Let's get this over with, you know? So, you know, whatever I do mine, other people are doing it. And after you're done, you go sit in the hot tub. So that was nice, you know, but there was this guy that couldn't do it. He was like, couldn't do it. And then they gave him another guy to help him. And he was like screwing up the other guy. It was like, that guy could probably do it by himself, but he you're, can't, you're he can't do it with this dude. And they were like, dude, if you can't do this, you know, they were like even down there, like pushing him up. You know, they want you to do it. Like, if you can't do this, then uh, you have to go home. And the dude was like, uh, I'm done. And they're like, you, if you get out the pool, you're going home. And he fucking got out the pool. Motherfucker, get out. Motherfucker ran out. So then after I do that, right, you get good scores on your safety. They call me in. Safety officer comes in. All right. Uh, you got, you know, here's your safety card. Whatever. We're going to. He's like, you scored, you scored really nice. You scored really high. He's like, so we're going to make you a deputy. I'm like, oh, deputy. Oh, shit. Fuck yeah. So all right, cool. Uh, yeah. Cool. What do I do? And he's like, well, Nothing. it tells you on your card, right? I'm looking at the back. I'm like, I don't fucking know. So you go to this zone. They do it when they have the drill. Once a week, you got to do drill, right? So I'm now excited. Normally drill sucks. Fucking now, uh, yeah, I'm excited. Like, bitch, I'm a dick. He's like, that means Sheriff, this he's like, that means you're second command in your zone, right? There'll be a leader, then you, and then everyone else. I'm like, that's fucking damn right. So I get to my zone. I'm looking as a leader. He's like, you my new deputy. I'm like, yeah, yeah. He's like, all right, here's your gear, and he hands me this bag, and it's got like a fucking orange hat, vest, like some other bullshit. <laughs> it's got this fucking big ass flashlight. You were like, when do I get my gun? Yeah, yeah. It's got this massive like fucking flashlight, and it's supposed to float or something. I turn it on. I'm like, dude. Just flashlight don't work. He's like, let me see it. He takes it and he's like, <laughs> it comes on with like the smallest, dimmest little fucking light right. you've ever seen. Like, this is bullshit. Whatever. What's my thing? What am I doing? He's like, all right. You see that door right there? I'm like, yeah. He's like, that's a, that's a firewall door. All right. Yeah, it's a fire door. So they close them and open them from the bridge. He's like, when, they, when the bridge calls a thing where they're going to close the fire door, it closes. Then you watch that door. And when they tell you, you open it up. I'm like what? Say, That's it. Deputy, I just, deputy, I, I just right. fucking watched this door. He's like, yeah, you stand here for 30 minutes until that door shuts and you open it back up. Like, nah, it's fucking bullshit. Hey, yeah, it's fucking Jesus. Some deputies get a whole town. Some get a village. Some get a fucking door. Some get a fucking door, you know? So, you know, the safety, overall, thing, the safety thing was cool. Overall, how would you rate your experience? One, mm. one through ten. One through ten. Well, one thing was that I didn't know. That itinerary with that ship right. is like the hardest one to do. Right. It's the oldest ship in like the fleet. So all of the equipment that I use is old like they remodeled the, all the inside shit but all the fucking equipment's old you know it's old as shit and then they update it with like new shit like you go into like a big sound rack try to figure out why it's not working you know something happened and you're looking in there it's and like, oh this is from 1990 yeah oh well there'll be something from 1990 but then something from 2010 is right above it right and it's all just converted right. because they can't uninstall it because the fucking cables 
go into the wall, and it's this fucking steel ship. Right. You don't know. You'd be looking in there like, where does it go? Right. So if you uninstall the, uninstall the equipment and it doesn't work, you got to call the guy who built the ship. Yeah. And who the fucking knows that is? So it's all these converters. You're looking at this shit like, what like, in the oh, fuck is going is on, you know? So that kind of sucks. And the itinerary sucks because it doesn't mean... It's just different. It's not like you're going to these party places. It's like a lot of old people. They're going right. to Portugal. They're going to Santorini. They're going to Amsterdam, Norway, the bottom of the bottom of the world. You know all the shit like that. Yeah, you're about to which, the ocean, yeah, well, so. but yeah, they're going to the bottom of the not world. Good, which you think trip. like when you're like a kid, you're like you want to fucking like someday I'm gonna travel to the bottom of the world. And then you get there and you realize it's just a bunch of fucking rocks. <laughs> it's just that's all it is. It's all yeah. sound as rocks. Yeah. So like, you know, it's not really like a party thing and you would you know, you'd have to be like a couple days at sea. You don't want to be at sea because then we have to entertain these fucking people all day. So then it's like, oh, I gotta do a bunch of shit today, you know? And it's like yeah. it's just bullshit. You go set up a mic, trivia, whatever. But if we're poor, I'm like, we don't do anything till late, so then you go out. I mean overall, I mean I'm one to ten. I don't know. I don't really know if I could rate right. the experience. I mean I don't really know. I guess I mean, it was pretty awesome. I mean, <laughs> oh, yeah. it was actually pretty cool. It's a good thing. You know, cool I, I give it, a, I give it a ten. I guess it's, you know, it's not necessarily for everyone, but you know, they. My job was great. Right. I traveled a lot. You know, you meet people, you make friends. They drink. They tell you sailors drink and fucking curse. Yeah, you wouldn't believe the way these people drink. These dirty sailors. It's fucking, like a good yeah, port to port. It's ridiculous the way they drink. You know, at the bar, like you can get six bottles of beer or one bottle of wine. That's what you can buy per time. I like that. Per time you go up there. So every time you go up there, you get fucking six beers. Yeah. And then you're sitting at a table with five people, and there's fucking 30 beers, right? You're like, yeah, okay, whatever. And you drink, you drink some. The guy's like, I'm getting around, get more beers, more beers. Well, now what are we going to do? You've got just beer bottles, right. whole table. Well, it's just fucking table. beer bottles. You're like, who's is that? Who's is that? Who's is that? And then you go in there, like, you know, we're entertainment's done at like midnight. So by like 12.30, I'm in there, All right? Cool. Well, they stop serving at 1.30, and you got at 2. So you go in there, you get a couple beers. Well, before you know it, they call last call at 1.25. And your table's like, oh shit, we gotta get beers. You go up and everyone's getting six beers. Now you're sitting at a fucking table with like 50 beers. Right. You have to drink them in a half hour. Right. Oh, oh, fuck, you know, you're drinking like, fuck, yeah. drink, drink. That always oh, is. Oh, well. Jesus Christ, you know, and then everyone's fucking trashed as shit, you know? Yeah. And then you're like trying to go to after parties, you know, you're like hiding open beers in your fucking shirts and shit. Like, where's the party? Where's the party at, you know? I don't have enough cargo pockets. Oh, jeez, yeah. And it's just like, I don't know. I mean, I guess, I mean, it was cool. I would well, probably, and um, now you're back. Now, now I'm here. Back and now you're on, we've just done episode 22. Yeah. It's been a long journey. Yeah, it has. 2020's been off the wall. So who knows? Yeah, I know. I know. It has been, I don't know. That's all bullshit. Well, listen. I don't know. I'm glad you're home. Um, I'm, I'm happy and uh, thankful you came over to do this episode mm-hmm. with me. Yeah. No logical, problem. logical guest to have on. Yeah. One of my best friends, and uh, I'm sure you're going to be on more, obviously. Probably. We've got some ideas we've been kicking around. We do. Around some fun we do have some ideas. So uh, I, I guess next week will be another episode. Another episode. Thank you guys for watching and listening on Spotify, iTunes. I guess it's, what, it's Apple Podcasts now, right? It's not technically Is it? iTunes. They don't do their podcast on iTunes anymore. It's Apple Podcasts. Who knows? The kids are always changing things. About it. Uh, anyway, thank you guys. Glad to be back. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And we'll see you next week. I love small guys.